Good day, welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today from Romans chapter 6 verse 7 and 8. Psalm 32 verses 1 and 2. Romans chapter 4 verse 7 and 8. We will see from all of this that the believer is blessed because they have made their confession of sin. God has covered their sins and has imputed to them, the believer, his righteousness. Therefore, this is a blessing from God. So today the believer can say, I am blessed. Psalm 32 verse 1 and 2. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. So when we look at the fourfold blessing or blessings in these two verses, in verse 1 we see that one's sins are forgiven. Also in verse 1 we see that one's sins are covered. They have made the confession. We see in verse 2 that one's forgiven sins are not imputed to such one any longer. And also in verse 2, the fourth thing we see is that one's spirit is cleansed of all guile. So we understand from the scripture that this person who is a sinful person, one who is of the old nature, one who is in Adam, says, I heard about uh, the Son of God, the great gift that God gave as a sacrifice for my sins. And I believe that Jesus died and rose again, and it was for my sins, and such one would come and make a confession to God. We have seen examples of confession and forgiveness in the scripture. Job in Job chapter 7 and verse 20 says, I have sinned. He plainly went to God, state what his position is. He also said in Job 40 and verse 4, I am a vile person. In Job 42 and 6, he also says, I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. So when Job realized about the things that he has said and the reaction he has to his friends, he says, listen, I repent in dust and ashes. We have seen in Psalm 41 and verse 4, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. That was the psalmist. We have seen, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. St. Luke 11 and verse 4. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. St. Luke 18 and verse 13. This was the prayer. And so what God does, he would cover such sins of the person who comes to repent. So the pardoning is done by God when one confesses his or her sins and exercise faith in the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. God covers over such sin so that that sin is not 
seen anymore by him because that sin is pardoned. So when God see that repentant sinner, he doesn't see his sins anymore, but sees the blood of Jesus Christ, the one who atones for sin. The Bible tells us about imputation. It is the act of God in salvation, whereby he accounts the, believe, the believer righteous in Christ because Christ bore such one's sins in his own body and such one has come in an attitude or with a heart of repentance and Christ says you have met the condition my term of reconciliation because Jesus died you believe in what he did and while you were mine enemy Jesus Christ caused this reconciliation to take place because of what he did at Calvary and because one has now come to confess their sins to accept Jesus Christ by faith such one is now reconciled to God so such one now receives pardon freedom from sin and yes this is truly possible that God will set one's spirit, one's soul, and body free from sin. So Romans 6, verse 6 and 7 tells us, When we confess our sins and the Holy Spirit brings us into the body of Christ, baptizes us, brings us into that body, we show openly publicly by water baptism that we have confessed Christ that our old man was crucified with him the old man meaning who we were in Adam with all the old habits and the all old appetites and we are now saying we have confessed and here God has placed us in the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ. So at conversion, we put off the whole man and we put on the new man, which is Christ Jesus. We exchange the filthy rags for our clothing to what? Spotless clothing. Colossians 3 verse 9 and 10. So yes, the believer is blessed in Christ. And this is a blessing when one can come and confess their sins and God himself cover that sin with the blood of Jesus and has imputed such one to such one his righteousness. Therefore, we can say, as in Romans 4, verse 7 and 8, Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Verse 8, Blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin so once the confession is made and by faith one has accepted what Jesus did at Calvary the redeeming work of grace the blessings of God are added to such one in fact the Bible says that such one is now in Christ Jesus that's where he has positioned that new believer all things the whole man and his old doings are passed away and behold all things are now 
new and we often sing i am a brand new creation all things are passed away and so because of that this morning we can say as believers that we are blessed our sins are not imputed to any us anymore we are cleansed from our filthiness yes we are forgiven our sins are covered with the blood of jesus christ god bless you thank you again for watching please like subscribe and share